Mm. I love these toothbrushes. I got my first one maybe in like 2006. And this is my third one since. Stuff just brushes your teeth so fucking good. Got that. I don't like using this toothpaste because sometimes I get paranoid from all the conspiracy theories out there saying fluoride's bad for us. That's what I have right now. Not in the best shape for me right now, I guess. But I will be getting lean and I don't have a pump right now. I'm pretty much cold. Look at that peak. I've been using something old school on my skin to keep me hydrated. Um, after I use like, you know, that body scrub, I've been using this. This is what I used to use a long time ago. And uh, I put it on, you know, whenever my skin feels a little dry. Or sometimes I used to actually wear this in the sun. And it really makes a difference on my skin. Now, I have sensitive skin. So... You know, I used to break out and <clears throat> I would like pretty much, you know, I got, I cleaned things up, you know, using different scrubs or whatever and I actually get some cool announcements about um, the body scrub I've been talking about um, that I have potentially joined the team, but we'll talk about that another time, but this so say I use body scrubs, exfoliants, whatever. But I still would get, like, you know, scarring if I get blemishes or whatever. Th and stretch marks, all that. Well, this it was something extra I used to use. And I would use this even in the sunlight. And when I used it in the, like, in the sunlight, what the f I see, I still haven't really... I'm still not all here yet. Ugh. All right, I used to use this in the, like, literally when I go out tanning. And um, it used to help me a little bit get a nice, you know, color to my skin. I use some cool stuff now. It really tans me because, I mean, my skin's not naturally... I'm like a light-skinned individual. I got a red on the tones. But <sighs> the moral story is this stuff as a lotion is probably my favorite. Um, just I stopped wearing it because my buddy's girlfriend was giving me shit about smelling like chocolate all the time. And uh, I lived with my buddy, so she was there all the time. She just annoyed me. So I stopped wearing it, because I didn't want to hear her bitch. And then I just got used to not using it anymore. But I'm telling you, this makes me smell real good. Sometimes I like to put this shit on before the gym, so I'm looking all, like, oiled up and shit. But I'm not sure yet. I have to go into the sock drawer. My magical sock drawer. I got underwear in here. My Under Armour long leggings. I need to get new gym clothes. I need to hit up the mall and just get some new shit. Uh, let's see. All I wear is Nike socks. I mean, just sitting here at the camera, you can see the old ones. These old ones look like fucking pleasure socks that have been used too much. Uh, I hate old socks too. I need them. F Look at the different colors. They're all black. You can see the ones that I use all the freaking time. I need to get nice fresh pairs. And I get no more good tanks. This is my beater collection. And all my gym shorts. I'm really rocking uh, the Nike Dry Fits still. I like those shorts. I got them on today. There's some old Under Armour. I got a you know, sell or donate or something. Because I don't like these anymore. Um, but... I gotta figure out what I'm wearing. Figure out what's next for me. Look at that big bed. A big mess. Figure out... what tank top I'm wearing. 
Um, oh yeah, about the body scrub. So I was getting the product for free, you know, helping them out. Um, but thanks to you guys, I've helped them out so much. I am now like officially part of the team for the Bay Body Body Scrub. The stuff I've been using before it was being sold for like a year. And that's what kept my skin pretty nice. Um, here are the new containers. So now I'm officially, full disclosure, I'm officially part of the team. So now it's gonna suck because you're gonna think I'm trying to say something, but I just tell you guys, I just tell you guys how it is. I tell you everything I use and everything <clears throat> that I do pretty much. So these are the new containers. They had some issues with the other containers and leakage, so they had to like um, be a little ghetto with the taping. Um, the good thing is they have no connection to outside sources. Like they're very, they're all local, right? It was all local thing. Um, you know, like farmers market stuff like that. But now because of me, they've expanded. Like I'm pretty much the global voice right now so far. Um, and you guys responded well. So I heard some, you know, people messaging me about issues with <clears throat> the containers and leakage and all that stuff. And they were getting emails and, uh, you know, I came together with them and I was like, we need a sexier container, you know, because they wanted my opinion, you know, because <clears throat> my, it's weird, my fans, I don't know what to call, call everyone, but my followers, my subscribers, you know, and the people that bought it and follow me, um, you know, were talking to me about it and I said, we need some sexier containers, so here they are. Look how fucking beautiful they are. Um, so, I'm now part of the team. Um, wasn't sure if I was just going to be like, um, sponsored or what, or actually really become part of the team. So now I'm actually really part of the team. So, yeah, if you guys end up trying that, listen, if you do try it or not, that's up to you. I'm not going to push anything on you. But if you do try it, um, yeah, let me know what you like change because it, nah, it's funny. And I can say we're, we're uh, trying to make it the best possible. The product is perfect. It's the uh, probably the packaging and whatever, but I like being a part of this stuff. I love shit like this. But I'm the connection to <clears throat> all you guys. So whatever you guys say, I'm reading these comments, so I can like um, tweak anything. You know what I mean? If you want something better or whatever, I love the input. Um, I can also, you know, I have that clothing shit that I'm doing soon. I'll have my own clothing line. Because what happens is, like I just said, I need more... I need more gym clothes, right? But I don't want to just be buying them and like choosing their designs. I want my own designs. I want my own my own style that I like. So why not just make my own and wear it? You know, instead of giving my money to someone else, I'm just gonna make my own style that I really like and rock those and feel proud that I did it myself. And if anyone likes what I make, and they don't have the time, or they don't want to develop all theirs, but all the research and all that shit, and you can just get what I get. If you don't like it, you don't get it. I don't care. I mean, granted, yeah, I would like you to get my shit, but if you don't, whatever, man. It's not a big deal. See, like, for instance, I gotta figure out what the hell I'm wearing today. Oh, my shoes are a mess. I got these. I fucking love these. The Supras. These things are fucking badass. But I need to clean this shit. I got clothes that I don't even know about. But some of this shit's old as fuck. I like styles like this, Under Armour. I don't really rock these anymore. But since today's back day, I probably want to show off some some sort of lat. Lattage in the gym. What do we got? I can wear this red stringer. That shit's tight as fuck on me. Um, a lot of stuff don't even fit me anymore, to be honest with you. I'm one of those clothes hordes. Oh, I can rock one of my new tanks. Yeah, I think I'm just going to rock a tank. 
I don't know if I'm going to have any lats popping out, but a buddy of mine, well, actually, not really a buddy of mine, someone hooked me up, and they got me these tanks off my Amazon wish list, which is fucking awesome. Also, a big thanks to Mike and uh, Nevin for helping contribute to this channel with the production and everything. I appreciate it. Um... Yeah, so maybe I'll rock this one. I don't know if I should show off the lats today. I kind of like showing them off more when I'm all tanned up. This is a good stringer tank too that I rock. That'd be good on chest day. All right, I think I'm just gonna rock a standard tank. You guys know what my lats look like, I think. Fuck it. You know what, let's get crazy. Let's go red. Ah. All right, I'm gonna throw this tank on. Alright, I think this is what we're going with today. Trim this. Let me comb that little beard. This is going to be the... I'm going to rock today to the gym. If I wish it was push day, I think it's swollen in these, like pretty much double in size. But now you'll be able to see some lats. Hopefully, you know, if I'm working out. I mean, when I'm working out. I like these things. I want to make a bunch of tank tops like this, but hopefully better material. You can see the material is kind of shitty. I want to make some, like, um, I can't describe it. But I want to make some stringers like this, but I can't describe the material. I have to find out what it's called. Um, but it's just a lot nicer than this, but everyone used to always ask me where I get my stringers and honestly I just get them offline. These are like no-name brands most of them. This one's like some gym pitbull gym And I was rocking their stuff, but honestly, yeah, they look fucking awesome, but the quality I and mean, when you get up close just looks like I don't know like your mom made it in like Her garage or something. I don't fucking know Wrong. Get clear. There we are. So I'm gonna show you what my new back workout is, and um, it's so much better. I put a lot of philosophy into it. Everything I do has to be done for you know a particular reason. And a lot of you guys might get upset with what you see me working on. You be like, where's this? Where's that? You don't do this, but. <clears throat> I'm just trying to get the most effective workout I can. So, um, I select the most optimal exercises in my mind. So we'll see. Oh, good morning. How are you? Well, today is, I don't even know what fucking day it is. Today is Wednesday, June 24th. Is 11:15. I'm going to the gym at noon, so I need to have my pre-workout meal right now. Let's see what we got here. Today's back and bicep day. All right, for my meal today, I'll be having my typical oatmeal, protein, chia seed, coconut oil. I still haven't had a sip of my coffee yet. Uh, blueberries. Then I'll have my get shit done coffee. Wake meal. And I have 219 grams of watermelon. So let's see. She, uh, if you guys don't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram here. You can pretty much see everything I eat. The muscle nerd. Wow. Who is that guy? Who is that? So check this out, all right? Anyways, what was I doing? Um, here's I log everything. 
I put in the watermelon already. I'm going to have, here's my whey protein I had. I had 30 grams oatmeal, it's all set. Chia seeds, all set. Lock that in. Um, blueberries, all set. Coconut oil, where is it? There it is. All set. Add that in. Here will be breakfast meal one. 689 calories. I think that's everything. Here's the macro breakdown so far. 85 carbs, 39 protein, 22 grams of fat. And that will be breakfast pre-workout. Mm, so I'm going to eat this up. So I'm going to eat that up. Start my day. And you start off with... Ah, uh, mm, start off right. Mm, this stuff's good. Try it out. Buddy! Yeah. What are you doing, dog? What are you doing, dog? Are you going to the gym at noon, dog? Yeah, dog. Are you sure, dog? It sounds like you just woke up. You just wake up? Mumbles. What are you doing, Dude, I thought we were going at noon, dog. Alright, dog. Yo, you want me to get you at noon? Twelve thirty. Twelve thirty? Yeah, bro. Are you up playing Elder Scrolls all night? Maybe. You were playing video games all night, huh, dog? Maybe, dog. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. How was that game, good? Dude, you sound like an addict. What, nigga? You sound like a fucking addict, dude. Like, you have, like, an issue. You're, like, you're, like, ashamed to admit you're playing video games all night. I ain't ashamed, nigga. <laughs> Damn, dude. Uh, alright. So, you want to go at, like, 12.30, eh? Hey. Alright. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get some color outside until then. Alright, um, I'll call you in a little bit and I'll figure it out. Right. We'll shoot for 1230 though, I might pick you up. What? Shoot for 1230 though, definitely, because I already ate breakfast and shit. I'm all hyped up, I had coffee. Oh shit. Alright, sit over here now then. What? Head over here now then. Alright. Oh. Right. This fucking kid. Ah. Uh. Yo, what do you think of that? Yeah, me too. Alright, I'm gonna make my pre workout real quick and intro workout. So, I love these um, Gatorade cups. I don't think they make them like they used to anymore. These ones are old. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in some modern BCAA. I'm gonna make sure I have the actual effective dose. Or, a, or actual serving size, which is like 13 grams. Eight. Come on, baby. Here you go, 13. 
So this one's serving size. I'm gonna drink that in the gym. My rice cooker for later. But here is the key. Just turn this off. To help them mix, and to make it taste good and cold, I'm gonna put in some ice cubes. Now it turns into like a shaker cup. I don't know what's going on outside. There it is. So that's that. I have that in the gym. It's hard to do things one handed. Wouldn't mind if I had an extra hand. This is gonna be um, pre-workout. And I mix my own ingredients, beta alanine. Or alanine, I don't fucking know. Creatine, time. I'm joking. Uh, creatine. Um, I'll take five grams of this. I'll take like almost five grams of this. I don't even need five grams, but it just ends up being five grams. And of course, the cheapest, most effective pre-workout, caffeine. You know what? Let's get crazy. Let's get fucking crazy. No man, let's not get crazy. I can't find elders. Let's take some citrulline malate. A little extra pump. Huh? Why not? So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna start with my creatine. Now you can take creatine anytime throughout the day. I just forget sometimes. And before I go to the gym, I remember. So, I'm just gonna take it now. Really, I don't think it, matters when you take it it builds up in your system so I got five grams in there I'm gonna speed this shit up I want to get lifting so I want to get some sunlight if I can so right there is five grams now I'm doing the beta alanine which is I think the effective dose is 3.2 but I like this is the stuff that makes you feel itchy but it also increases your endurance I like to feel itchy it's, especially when it Fucking all over me. <clears throat> I really don't. I don't. I really just don't even care. All right, citrulline malate. This gives you a pump. Um, usually, you want to take eight grams. Some people like take. I think six actually works as well. But most of the studies are at eight. And I'm gonna put in six. Cause I'm already fucking pumped up mentally. Uh, all right, put that shit away, even though it doesn't go up here, I'm going to put it up there for now. The coolest fucking spoons in the world. It's like a fucking magical sorcerer. Maybe a little unnecessary for this, but I, I love those spoons. I'm going to take my caffeine pill. I'm gonna do, you know what? 200 milligrams is more than enough. I don't need to be cracked out. Down the hatch. That's right, <clears throat> unflavored. It tastes sour. I used to make my own pre-workout like that with some more ingredients. I have a video about it a couple years ago. And that was definitely effective pre-workout that I made myself. I called it um, Rhino Blast. Make sure I have everything. I call it Rhino Blast because I felt like a fucking rhino after I ate, after I drank it. One day I was out playing flag football 
<laughs> and I took it, and my buddy was like, heard me running him down behind him. And he's like, what the fuck, dude? I'm like, what? He's like, it sounded like a rhino was behind me. And I was like, well, I took my rhino blast today. So I started calling my pre-workout rhino blast. Anyways, to more, today's more of like a, I guess, get to know my personality. It's very interesting. All right, time to go uh, get Nick. Yo, dog. Yo, man, I'm outside. Alright. Alright, bye. Just go, just go, press real quick. Alright. Oh, oh man, I'm curious to see what Nick's persona is gonna be on camera. Cause you know some people get like shy and shit when you put a camera in front of their face. Um, so it might be funny to see him. We'll see what happens. Ring up on this kid. What up, dog? What up, though? What's going on, son? No, just kidding, up. Are you ready, son? I hope so, dog. What do you think of this camera? Shit, sick. Is that the new one? Yeah. I was thinking about returning it because um, they're coming up with a new one like in less than 15 days. That's it. Get the new one, dog. No, it's like 200 bucks more, but it doesn't really do too much more. You said it was like 4K. How many weeks out are you? <sighs> this Saturday. Oh Friday. shit, days out. <sighs> like four or five. <laughs> look at look at this right you getting your biceps. Let me see it. Which one, huh? <sighs> Damn, son. 19 years old. Industry, he was like, uh, cause he used to do this shit. Yeah. Why you were Jesus, bro. Fitness industry is kind of weird, bro. Yeah. All right, Nick. Sorry. It's all gonna be edited. You're getting, you're in her way. Then. It's all right. I'll get a bobber.
this was our first exercise. We started with four to four sets, 10 to 12 reps. Very important, you do a full stretch all the way at the bottom. Explode up. see here I'm sticking my head through and stretching I stick my head through so I can get a real real stretch of my lats and then I contract stretch all the way up contract stretching so much my lats are ripping out my back getting stretch marks from ripping through my skin we did four sets, 10 to 12 of that. Now Nick's doing these things a little off here. He uh, didn't ever do these before. 
So he's learning them as we go. But this is another stretch and contract. Now the whole reason why I'm down here on my knees is to get that full stretch. Should I put my head through? That's to get that full stretch. And I pulled my chest, stretch, contract. Stretch, contract. And that's how I get that full lat activation.
here, I'm doing the same thing as I do on all my lifts. I'm making sure I stretch, full lat stretch, and then I'm contracting. So I put my head down, I'm down my knees, and I hump it. Like, boom, right to my lap. That's like that full uh, pullover activation. These are really good to finish on. We did uh, three sets of these. 12 to, uh, yeah, 10, 12 reps. Follow these up with a face pulling, which will get our traps and rear delts. And uh, some upright rows, which will actually actually hit our traps more than anything. I can't shrug right now because of uh, my shoulder issue, which is healing. But um, upright rows really hits the traps a lot. And I like to build, uh, develop that big, thick upper back. It's uh, what I think really makes me look big. It's just like my back and that upper back thickness, my traps. So a couple things to do, build your upper back. We do no rowing, if you haven't noticed. I just believe there's no doubt about it you can build a great back with rowing, no doubt. Um, I've rowed for years, but I did some research, I did a lot of reading and did a lot of thinking and uh, full range of motion is the most important. And here we're doing a full range of motion on all our lifts. Um, the bigger the range of motion, you know, the more um, time under tension that muscle has to be under and, and it works better under that full range of motion. Uh, so that's why I got rid of the rolling motion. You're just so limited with your range. Here we have such a long range. The muscle's working, you know, and it's full capacity at its full, um, yeah, exactly at its full range of motion. So you want the muscle to be able to to work in the biggest range it can. It's doing its job. It's bringing the arms down <coughs> across the body, um, like a, like a fly movement would do the same. But um. Yeah, I try this out. My upper back is just looking angry. Look at that. Stretching. I never realized how thick that upper back's getting until I watch a video of myself. 
I'm very proud of the accomplishments I've made in my back. But see all that inner shit? Where the traps are at and everything? That's what you wanna thicken out with these exercises. finished our workout and the camera was gonna die so we didn't do um, biceps what'd you think of the workout uh, feeling pumped boy yeah yeah <laughs> feel good yeah it feels real good you, you get your lats all swollen and shit lats traps we took a couple traps. pictures we got couple legs videos. tomorrow oh, kill them. legs tomorrow um, oh my legs are still kind of sore that's gonna be it I'm gonna go home I'm gonna eat Nick has work Shake, shake, shake. He, he, uh, I thought you were shake, weight, <laughs> shake, weight model. So that's gonna be it. I'm gonna go home and eat, and I'm gonna answer some emails from my clients' diets and um, macros, diet training, and, and everything. Flex on them. So that's gonna be it today. I'll have another video maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. I probably won't be recording every workout because a lot of them will be the same um trying to get this kid i know brandon who's really good at um video editing and recording he's got a great camera too i'm trying to get him to like follow us for a day and do like a reality show or something uh 
because he can chop it up way better than me. Like, if he does this for school or something like that. It's like what he does, something he enjoys. I like just lifting and I do like this, but. Lift things up, put them down. He's like passionate about video editing and um, taking, you know, pictures and photography and all that stuff. That's what he does. So it's, he's a master of that craft, would you say? Yeah, we're rookies. And uh, yeah, we're rookies. I try to dabble in everything. I try to be good at everything. And um, like better than average at everything, but not the best at a lot of things. Cause it takes up a lot of, it takes a lot of time to be the best at one thing, you know? So I'd rather average it out. Oh, look at that, this guy's nice. I wanna get one of these one day. Mm. Is that six series? Sunny South Florida. South Florida. I live it down here. Everyone knows I'm from Boston, but I live down here now. I like it. So that's it. We're gonna get La Graja, but we don't have enough time. La Granja. So taking off as it for today. And um, I'll see you guys again probably tomorrow or the next day. Later. Say bye.